dangerous on a daily basis and now very comfortable at 155. Liverpool's Paul Kelly fights very close to home tonight against Dennis Seaver. Even though Dennis Seaver has always been exciting to watch in the octagon, it wasn't until 2009 that the German began to truly hit his stride. First with a third round TKO of Nate Moore, and then with an emotional first round win over Dale Hart in front of his fans in Cologne, Germany. Tonight, Seaver hopes to make it four in a row against Paul Kelly. Very proud of my fight in Germany, but I'm gonna do the same thing here tonight. A subscriber to the notion that if it ain't broke, don't fix it, Paul Kelly remained in the welterweight division simply because he kept winning. But in June, the Liverpool product decided to stop giving his opponents a physical advantage, and he dropped down to the UFC lightweight division. And after one win at 155, it certainly appears like this was a great move. Being from Liverpool, I'm very proud of where I am. We all have that never back down attitude, never to give in. Um, on the night, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna bring the fight. We bang it out, and uh, I come away victorious. Coming up next, Dennis Seaver takes on Paul Kelly's Kelly. Dennis Seaver's becoming a UFC veteran, Joe. Seventh time tonight he will fight in the octagon, coming off victories over Nate Moore and Dale Hart. He submitted Dale Hart in less than three and a half minutes in Cologne, Germany, back at UFC 99. He's fought in Germany, Sweden, here in England, Slovenia, the United States, and tonight he will look for his fourth win in his UFC career. Yeah, and his last two fights in the UFC over Nate Moore and Dale Hart really showed how comfortable he's getting, Mike. We're really getting to see the full extent of his skills, the, the striking, the kicks, the, the spinning back kick that he landed on Nate Moore, and the rear naked choke that he hit Dale Hart with. He's really coming into his own in the octagon. Dennis Seaver, 30 years old, Sixth UFC fight as a lightweight, where he is three and two. He made his debut against Jesse Lee Adon right here in Manchester in April of 2007 as a welterweight here in the UFC. German kickboxing champion, and he and Paul Kelly know each other very well. In fact, they cut weight together in Germany as both of those men got prepared for their fights. That night, it was Roly Delgado who was Kelly's opponent. But tonight, you put everything aside because only one man will move up the ladder at 155. Yeah, this is a big fight for both guys. Dennis Seaver and Paul Kelly match up very well. This is going to be a really entertaining fight. Kelly, That's... half of his wins, Joe, by submission. That's the ear of a dude who's been rolled around a few times. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Seven of his 14 career wins by submission. Yeah, he's no stranger to headlocks with those ears. Nope. Powerful, compact fighter. Dennis Siever from Mannheim, Germany. Uh, this place will erupt when Liverpool's own enters the octagon. Born and raised in Liverpool, England, Paul Kelly. I think it was a fantastic move for Paul Kelly to drop down the lightweight, Mike. He's a, a dynamic power puncher, especially vicious left hooks to the body. I mean, he's got some of the best body shots that we've seen in MMA. And uh, I think being at 155 is really the perfect weight class for him. He's going to get a chance to really live up to his full potential in this division. Loves being a cage fighter. Loves fighting here at home in England. He has switched camps up a little bit for this fight, Joe. Formerly, he trained at the Wolf's Lair with, obviously, Michael Bisbing and Rampage, Chick Congo, other men who have come in and out of there. For this camp, though, he's been with Terry Edom. He and Terry were walking around all week, back and forth from Liverpool, slept at home every night. They say, hey, we're going home to sleep in our own houses, and they're really excited about the opportunity this evening. That's kind of crazy, considering he's got a Wolf's Lair tattoo on his back. Yeah, it's kind of hard, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I hope they're still friends. I think they are. I think they're OK. Just change things up a little bit for this, his second fight at 155 in his UFC career. Yeah, when he was fighting at welterweight, he carried around quite a bit of body fat, but not here at 155. He's ripped. 
and uh, it's, it really is the perfect weight class for him. Paul Kelly! One of the most likable young men we have in the sport today. One of the quotes I read from Kelly is he said, I want to be the British Vanderlei Silva. <laughs> That's not it. bad. That's something to aspire to. Absolutely. And he is very truly happy to fight tonight on the same card as his hero, Randy Couture. Take for this lightweight fight. German born Seaver, six years the elder of Kelly. 11.1 stone for Kelly, 11 even for Seaver. Reach advantage is identical. With the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins with six losses. Standing five feet seven inches tall, he weighed in at 155 pounds, 11 stone. Fighting out of Mannheim, Germany, Dennis Seaver. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 10 wins with one loss. Standing five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds, 11.1 stone. Fighting out of Liverpool, England, Paul Telly. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee, the beautiful Ariani. We are set to begin here at 155. Seaver and Kelly, and here we go. Both men like to bang, so this could heat up early. You know that Kelly's looking for a highlight reel finish. Oh, Quick nice kick. kick and a left hook by Seaver. Seaver mixing it up nicely. Seaver's throwing a nice left hook, Mike. Oh, good counters by Seaver. Oh, again. Kelly again. That straight kick is keeping Kelly at distance too, Joe. Every time he comes in, he's getting caught. And again, Kelly staying in the pocket. Paul Kelly pushing forward. Good pace early by Seaver. Kelly looking for the takedown. Seaver tried to throw him. Kelly shook it off. Good knees by Paul Kelly. Kelly much more comfortable at 55 here tonight, Joe. He had to cut nearly 20 pounds on the last day of his UFC lightweight debut. Just getting used to the change from 170. He's got well, that head trap, Mike. It's, it's not, going. not going, going for a guillotine, but he's got that option. All right, break. So break. Already a little mouse so under the left eye of Paul Kelly from those early strikes from Seaver. Yeah, that's that left hook. Seaver very compact. Oh, and nice again. body shot. Seaver's got the body type of a Sean Shirk. Kelly's got to be careful. Seaver's throwing. And that lead left kick. And again, he utilizes it. Comes quickly. And that TP he uses in that front kick, Joe, is almost like a, it's almost like a jab, keeping your man at distance. Yeah, that's uh, that's what it's utilized yep. for. Seaver, 14 wins in his career. 10 wins in Kelly's career. Oh, nice Superman punch by Kelly. And he completes the takedown, but Seaver jumps right back to his feet. Nice punch by Kelly, though. And again, he goes with it. Hey, if it works, go right back to it. That time, though, his opponent was ready. Seaver with the inside leg kick. Very fast kicks by Seaver. Dennis Seaver looks totally different than he did a couple of years ago against Jess Leah Dawn. 
right here in Manchester. Yeah, he is. Like we said in the in the pre-fight, he's really coming into his own. He's really getting confident and comfortable fighting in the octagon. You know, with some of these guys, they fight so well in the gym, but it's tough to put it together under the bright lights. Got, got the head movement. He's really mixing up the strikes. And a good first round for the Russian-born German. Again, another, another nice, nice leg kick from the outside this time. Kelly. Kelly, relentless. Kelly's got to be careful, Joe, not to get impatient here, because you can see he's getting frustrated. He's getting picked apart here in round one. He's got to wait for the tides to turn and not swing for the fences and get himself caught in a bad position leaning in. One twenty remains in round one. Yeah, Kelly is looking for the opening. The problem is, as he's being very aggressive, Seaver is countering excellent. Yep. He's doing a really good job of moving away in angles and, and, and giving different looks and countering. Ducking away from the strikes. And you know, you, like you said, Paul's got to be real careful about being too aggressive, being too over, you know, over anxious. He's throwing some feints now. You see yep. the difference. Much more discipline. Going to try to set something up here. Again with that leg kick. Got the hands up. Got a little mouse on the temple as well, does Kelly from those left hooks, Joe. They continue to throw in flurries. Yeah, he's got the mouse on the right eye from the left hook. Good takedown oh, by Kelly. Nice, there he goes. Got to be careful. He's got that wrist control. And he got his head up. Dennis Siever. Very impressive here in the first five minutes. And here's a, a, a couple of nice counters by Seaver and a good uppercut there by Kelly as well. And Kelly just pressing forward. And, you know, by doing that, he is leaving himself open. But, you know, that's his style. His style is just get in your face and put the pressure on. And obviously, Seaver has trained very well for that style. Don't swing with him and leave your chin up and your hands down. Tighten it up. Every time he misses, you hit him back with two or three short shots, okay? Go to the counter. Yeah, but don't swing with him. You understand? And don't react to this crowd. The front kick is all perfect. Er versucht die ganze Zeit Take-Down zu machen. Guck, dass du es verhinderst. Das war genau richtig. Alles, was du machst, richtig momentan. Seaver, back in 1994. Yeah. Started his martial arts training with some Taekwondo, some kickboxing, and some Judo. First for self-defense, then for fighting in tournaments. Round two. Seaver and Kelly. They touch gloves. Let's see what Paul Kelly does to try to turn the tides here. Kelly in the dark trunks. Seaver in the red trunks. Kelly with the Superman punch. Got caught with a left hook there. And then a right hand as well. The punch that scored the most in round one for Paul Kelly was the Superman punch. The second time, Seaver handled it nicely. He, Spinning back kick. He landed a couple of nice uppercuts in there too, Mike. You know, but the, the real problem is that he's getting countered. You know, his style, he's, he's such an aggressive guy. I mean, like you said, he wants to be the, the English version of Vanderlei Silva. Yep. Seaver just looping punches from all angles in there. Oh, flying knee. Seaver's a very strong wrestler as well. And avoids the takedown attempt.
A lot of mutual respect between these two men. I like what Kelly's doing now. He's laying back and he's making Seaver come to him. That one connected. That left leg being utilized masterfully by Dennis Seaver. Good head movement. Good slips by Seaver. This is one of Seaver's best performances against, in my opinion, one of the toughest guys he's faced. Oh! That's it. Right into the midsection, spinning back kick. Beautiful power in that spinning back kick, Mikey. Throws it with perfect technique. Kelly Kelly's done. is still down. Get up, let's go fight. Kelly's trying to cut it out. But he got absolutely jacked with that spinning back kick. He's still hurt, Mike. Yeah, look at yeah. him. He's slow to get up. He might have broken ribs. It might be over. Get up, let's go, let's go. What a gutty performance He's by done. Kelly. He's in big trouble here. Kelly just trying to gut it out. Seaver with the knee. Yeah, he's, he's got he broken ribs, Mike. All over. I think he's got broken ribs. No question. Dennis Seaver defeats Paul Kelly. And you can see he really gutted it out trying to stand back up, but that this turning side, side kick, the spitting back kick from Dennis Seaver, two fights he's, he's won with that. There it is again. Look at that. Bam! On the money. Right there in the floating ribs, right next to the liver. Just kabam! Look at that. God! That's some power right there. That's one of my favorite techniques in all of MMA. Very underutilized, and Dennis Seaver uses it as good as anybody. Reminiscent of David Loazzo and Charles McCarthy with the spinning back kick. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 53 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by TKO, Dennis Seaver.